Hello, treasured women. Today is the last in our series on the treasures of God. So of course, I have saved the best for last. God has one treasure that he values over all others. And as a godly leader, it's vital that you understand how important this treasure is to God. So as a quick recap, here's what we've already looked at this month. The treasure of being righteous, the treasure of heaven, the treasure of the gospel, treasuring the fear of the Lord. And today we look at God's treasure above all other treasures. It's you. Deuteronomy 26 verse 18 says, Today the Lord has declared that you are his treasured people, his treasured possession, just as he promised you, and that you are to keep all of his commandments. There it is. When we have revelation that each one of us is a treasure to God Almighty, then we are responsible for acting accordingly. When the creator of the universe tells us that we are his treasure and we are his treasured possession, then we have a duty to value ourselves. If the general population had a true understanding of this, many women would not struggle with self-esteem or suicide would no longer exist. We would see so much value in our life that we wouldn't dare try to take it. Our life has value because God brought us into existence for a specific purpose. Part of why he treasures us is because he loves doing his work through us. Our life is supposed to exist as a partnership with God. When God created Adam and Eve, he went down into the garden and walked with them. God created man, called man good. God delighted in his creation, and God wanted a relationship with his creation. He loved to walk and talk with Adam and Eve in the garden. But then Adam and Eve messed that all up. <laughs> However, our God is a God of second chances and third chances and many, many chances. And I believe that Adam and Eve's sin hurt the Lord so much that he decided to keep his distance for a time. He didn't walk with Moses on the mountain. He appeared as a burning bush. He appeared as a cloud by day and fire by night. I believe his heart was broken from the way that his treasured possession disobeyed him. If you are a parent of teenagers or of older children, you can completely relate to this. Our own children can absolutely break our hearts. And in time with prayer and trusting God, we are able to heal from those experiences. And God is the same. He is our one and only true Father. And when we, his treasured children, grieve him, it does hurt him. Genesis 6 verse 6 says, The Lord regretted that he made mankind on the earth, and he was deeply grieved in his heart. The Lord has given us so much instruction through our Bible. We are told how to act, how to treat others, how to respect those in authority, and how to lead. The Bible is not just a book of historical stories. It's a manual of how to live daily life. We, you and I, are God's treasured possessions, and we need to live like we know and understand that fact. And it is a fact. It's not up for a debate. When God declares something, then it's fact. You can disagree all you want, but it doesn't change God's truth. As we believe this truth about ourselves and then live it out, it's only then that we can step into godly leadership. 
once something becomes a part of us, deep down inside us, then it becomes available for us to give away. Otherwise, we can't give away what we don't have. We look at the treasure of the gospel, and now we can see even more why we need to treasure it. The good news of Jesus makes our entire Bible a treasure, and we need to treasure hunt in it every day. We need to seek out the mysteries and discover the revelation inside of it. We need to look at it, not just as a history book, but as a life manual, so we know and understand what we are supposed to do in this life. You know, and I know it's not easy. This life is not easy. But we are called not just living out God's will for our lives, but becoming more like Jesus through our actions and our words every single day. Once we are grounded in the life foundations of what scripture tells us, then we can step up as a leader that is effective for God's kingdom. That's when we live out the destiny that God created for us. It's time for Christians all around the world to wake up. It's time for Christians to rise up and start living as God requires us to live. Our life is not about us. It's about what we are supposed to do for God and what he wants to do through us because we are his treasured possession. Let's start living like we are his. This is the very passion why I started Trumpets of Tirza. This is the purpose that God created for me. I grew up in a church that shared stories from the Bible but it didn't teach me how to walk out my life. I didn't know that we are supposed to partner with God's Holy Spirit that's living inside of me. I just thought he was part of the Godhead that was put into prayers that I recited on a Sunday. I didn't know that God wanted a relationship with me, not a friendship, a true, deep, intimate relationship. I didn't know that I was God's treasured possession. But praise God that he opened my eyes and revealed himself to me. And once I came into true biblical understanding, now all I want to do is share it with others. I want to share it with you. So if you are a woman and this message resonates with you, then join my nine month course. Do not delay. Don't allow another day to go by because time is precious and so is the life that you have left. I have designed an interactive, accountable program that will transform your life. It will teach you about God, about the way that God designed you and how the followers of Jesus are to rise up and lead others. We all, me included, spend a lot of money on frivolous things, but now it's time for you to invest in your eternal spirit and into God's eternal kingdom. So go to my website right now. Go to trumpetsoftirza.com and apply today for our virtual course to be a virtual treasure. Thank you for listening today. May you know in the depths of your heart that you are God's treasured possession. I'll see you next week as we start a new month and a new theme. Until then, I encourage you to go back through this Treasures of God series and fix your eyes on what the Lord treasures. God bless you on your leadership journey.